Welcome back to UTEP. Now, in the last episode, we did play TCU and we had a heck of a game for Sean Hill, as always. This week, we are playing in a blue effect game against Texas Tech. Last year, it was number one versus number two. And this year, it's five and five unranked Texas Tech against nine and one. UTEP Miners. And here we are at a night game. Blue effect against one of our rivals, Texas Tech. Let's see if we can get a win. Ho hopefully we can because uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. But, you know, we did lose to Miami pretty badly that last time. So, do they? Every time. I need to throw it sooner because that happened in the last game where he was running and then just stopped pitch out to wilson and he's gonna be wide open to walk right into the end zone and we're gonna take a lead it's gonna be a seven to nothing utep oh looks like number two oregon went down to washington so if we get this win we can move up to three it's a run play and smith is all over it pitch out to sean hill who's gonna be able to break off a tackle and what a block by our tight end as Sean Hill gets into the end zone. 44 yard rush. Holy crap, Sean Hill is literally a monster. It's a run play and Brian Black is all over it, not allowing him to go anywhere. It's an option play and Richardson is all over it. Still gets a yard, but it's going to be third and six. Not gonna have any safety help. Put it on a dot. Clark makes the catch, breaks off a tackle. And what a play. Oh, he's still up. Okay, now he's down. 44 yard reception. What a dot by Wade Wright. Put you back out to Sean Hill, who makes a man miss. Breaks off the same guy and he gets down to the one yard line. You know, we're just gonna give it to Sean Hill here. Because he's gonna take it right into the end zone. That's two touchdowns on the day for Sean Hill. Where's the three? Oh, I honestly don't know. Two, two or three, but either way, Sean Hill, he's a beast. Oh, there goes Jones. Jones only has one man to beat, and he beats him. He's going to return this one all the way for a touchdown. What a return for Jamal Jones, breaking off tackles making sure that nobody's going to catch him he had one man to beat and he beat him and we get our first punt return touchdown maybe in dynasty history i don't even remember the last time we had one but jamal jones for sure got that one and we get our special music that we haven't had in a long time oh lambert was going to be wide open but he took forever and frank or right throws his first interception in like weeks oh and sims just picks that off it's like he was running the route for himself we do get the turnover just launch it to clark see if he can make a play on it and he can is he gonna beat his man no he's not but a 61 yard reception after he gets tackled by the feet but that's gonna end the first quarter and your new set miners are on top 28 to nothing let's keep it going and there goes sean hill just being a monster and they can't get him this man just i don't that's incredible that was one of the best runs i've ever seen he just ran in got bumped got bumped again and just kept going holy crap sean hill oh man i can't wait to see him in the nfl oh and right is all over it and jones was all over it what a tackle for jones in the open field it's another draw and he's breaking off tackles holy crap oh push come on man you're literally just standing there how do you not catch that guy's gonna test jones and jones doesn't get the interception come on why can't y'all pick these off guys there we go brent bush finally gets the interception and we finally first force the turnover that we should have a few times ago shut their drive down they spent about four minutes going all the way down the field to just get intercepted by brent bush 
wide open is Clark, who's gonna outrun his defender and get a big game. Do the shot and hill on a Texas route. And we are driving. Get out to Adam Lambert, and he's going to get into the end zone right before halftime. We're gonna have a 42 to nothing lead. Oh wow, this is this is definitely a beat. Nope. What? There's no way that Sims did not get that interception. Is Clark too fast for him? Clark is too fast for him, and we do get the touchdown before half. And at the end of the first half, your Utah Miners are up 49 to seven after a BS touchdown that the game gave Texas Tech, but I'll take the 49-7 lead. And we finally get our first sack of the day. Number 98 comes in and tackles him pretty hard. Oh my. Well. That was. <laughs> that was bad. Let's uh, forget that ever happened. Oh, what a block! But oh my god! Two pancakes by 78 there. Holy crap. That dude went ham on those boys. There we go. That's how you do it. Pitch out to Sean Hill who breaks the tackle and gets a 28 yard gain. Sean Hill right up the middle, breaks off the tackle, gets 14. Sweep to Sean Hill. If he gets into the end zone, it's going to be a 56 to 14 game. Man, I just uh, kind of want to hurry this one up. And Romero gets another interception on the day. Or not on the day, but another interception on the year. I forgot that he was playing, but here he is making interceptions. You're right there to Sanders. Big catch and a big gain. 36 yards. This is a huge game by Wade Wright. Passing. 333. Oh my God, Sean Hill just got killed. Get it right to Adam Lambert into the end zone. We are going to run up the score as much as we can against Texas Tech today. He caught that. Oh my gosh, dude. This game feels so bad for Texas Tech that they're letting them catch passes like this. With one hand? Hello? I mean, it's bad enough that Jones did not get this interception but for it to bounce off his face mask and this man's to catch with one hand okay game okay and at the end of the third quarter your Utah Miners are up big 63 to 14. oh and Kirby gets the sack that's our second sack of the day finally and there's our third sack of the day and he fumbles it but we don't get the turnover but we do get the ball back Oh, there goes Sean Hill. Oh, he got tackled by the feet. Still a 26 yard game though. Give it to Wilson. And he gets it to the end zone. I didn't want him to, but I mean, I'll take a 70 bomb. Andrew, Utah Myers get the victory, but I pressed A too quickly and now they're just gonna rush us off the field. So let's go check out Clark's stats because it's going to be pretty great. Carl Clark had four receptions for 189 yards. That is insane. Welcome to College Football Playoff Selection Show, presented by AT&T. And after Oregon gets upset, as you can see here, your Utah Miners are now number three with Wisconsin at 11-0 and Michigan at 9-2. Both of them in the same conference and they are going to have to play each other again. So uh, we can finish the season number two or number one. Uh, we'll see. In the next episode, we will be playing our last game of the season against our rival UTSA. And uh, it's going to be our senior day, so we're going to have to let our seniors ball out. But that will be for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.